how to ask God. There are two ways how you can ask God. You can ask God with your mouth by praying. You can also ask God with your action. That is, you can also pray with your action. But however, among these two ways, the most effective, the most effective means of asking God is to ask him with your actions. And the Bible says that the ones that moves God into action faster is the one that you ask with your action. Not the one you are blabbing with your mouth. And we also say that 90% of Christians in our church are used to the system of asking with their mouth while their action is opposite of what they are saying. The Bible says that you will give loans to nations. You will give loans to nations. And here you are, you are asking, Father, in according to your word, the Bible says I will give loans to nations. Therefore, I will give loan to nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me money to give loans to nations. I give loans to nations by faith. I give loans to nations. You ask God and pray and pray and pray. Your action is different. Your brother is coming to look for a loan of 1,000. Out of your 10,000, you cannot give that brother your 1,000. Out of your 10,000, you cannot give that, bro that brother 1,000. Your action is different from your prayers. You are praying and fasting. And you are wasting your energy. This action that I'm talking to you about works faster than your words. This action I'm talking about is what the Bible calls faith. Anybody following me? This action is what the Bible calls faith. This action is what the scripture says. Without this action, no man can please God. Without this action, no man can please God. So, we unfortunately, we have a lot of believers that has been trained on prayer is very good and it works faster if what you are saying is working in accordance with your actions. Hello? Listen. When you are behaving or all of us here we were born natural, naturally greedy man is naturally selfish no man was born with the ability to give no man on earth man another name for man you remember that message you remember that message we preach another name for man is called self you can remember that message Another name for man is self. Me, my wife, my children, my children's school fee, my house rent, my this, my this. You are thinking about yourself all your life. That is man. Man is naturally born stingy. Man is naturally born greedy. No man was born the opposite. It is only the word of God that teaches men how to begin to give and love, care for one another. So, if a greedy man or a stingy man wants to receive from God, instead of him to waste his time and shout, Father, give me money, give me this, give me that, give me this. He can simply begin to practice the word of God in the Bible that says, love one another, that says, give and it shall be given to you hundred posts. Press together! <laughs> Hundredfold. Press together. That's how I used to call, press together. I want you to say, press together. So whenever you are reading that scripture, give, you can read other places normally, 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 normally. 
give and it shall be given to you in hundredfold shaken press together <laughs> do you know what it means you don't know you don't know the message no bongari mfi zero mfi mare mfi and i'm doing quite you cannot demo and put you have to support like three to four layers eh? you use your hand to press that is the realm of abundance if any stingy man on earth begins to practice that aspect of the word of God that say give and it shall be given to you good measure, shaken press together practicing that word of God alone saves you from 70 days of dry fasting and prayer 70, 1, 2 70 dry in the bush so you want to see God. It saves you from 1,000 days of fasting. Because while you are in that bush, all what you are saying is contrary to your lifestyle. It's contrary to your everything about you. It's opposite all what you are praying. It's opposite you. You will cry and ask God question, a big question mark. Father, why? You have done it for this one. You have done it for this one. You have done it for this one. Why is my case different? You will ask God a question, not knowing that the problem is you. The problem is you. Not the God you are calling. Any stingy man on earth can look at that scripture. Give, it shall be given unto you. And begin to practice it. I was not born with anointing to give. No man was born with it. It was when I had the encounter of the same scriptures when I say give and it shall be given not the kind of giving you used to do waiting for altar call after preaching uh, altar call anybody here you want to bless you want to sow seed of 100,000 naira you want to sow seed to confirm the word you have received of 100,000 come out to the front you now do like this you feel good because you are among the people that have 100,000 and you come and stand after that stage one he said, if you are here tonight you want to support the seed of the ministry with 50,000 second category and I'm going to pray for you specially come out to the front you now feel good uh, People, let people know that you can afford 50,000 you come out come out you come out some of you even because of shame you write paper you don't have that money you just carry paper and write 50,000 okay why did you even come out why did you come out if you don't have the money only one thing brought you out to be counted among. Make of symbol. It's different from the kind of giving. I'm, that is not the giving I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Bible say, Habakkuk 2 4. The just shall live by faith. Your lifestyle, your habits. If you want to be a giver, 
It should not be when a guest minister comes here and begins to raise it. 100,000 come out and you go out and you 50 come, 20 come, 10 come. You come and you say you are a giver. I've given to the Lord. Why? No, 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 no. Your life, the just shall live, shall live. Your lifestyle, if you want to be a giver, you should be a giver in your lifestyle. Not occasional giver. When there is event, you go out. When there is no event, you go out to the public so they see you. And they count you among people that have 20,000. People that have 50,000. Okay, so they will say 100,000 this way. 50,000 this way. <laughs> that doesn't mean you are a giver. Hello? The giving I'm talking about is based on his word. So, if a man wants to see any part of God's word manifest in his life, that man or woman should begin to practice the word of God not to hear you hear messages you hear preaching and it is too much for you it is risky for you to know so many word of God but you don't do anyone it is risky for you when once you become familiar with it familiar you know how people are familiar. You are familiar with the word of God. Am I going to quarrel me? Because you know it already. And you know it so when it's time to worship, you can't, you'll be sitting down because you are used to this kind of thing. When it's time to pray, 